the statement that goes back? Uh, just uh, let's start by saying I'm proud of Don McCauley uh, on the road. True freshman, um, made some plays, gave us a chance. Um, has some awesome experience to play in this environment at, at, at his age. So I um, thought uh, when you're in the ball better, having 200 yards rushing, but at the end of the day, doesn't, uh, you know, not, not, not good enough. Team lost, defense didn't play good enough. Questions? Zach? I guess this is maybe a little bit reminiscent of 2017 where we had that defense that turned in a lot of good performances, but just for whatever reason, I guess Maryland just could not sequence the stops the way you needed to. Yeah, I didn't think of it that way, but yeah, thanks for your memory. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I mean, just really frustrating, you know. Um, just uh, hard to be able to, you know, play on the road and just keep up with the kind of plays. Had a chance, took the lead after that big run by Steven, and then two straight score drives. Just just killed us. But the kids didn't quit, kept fighting. You get one more stop, didn't get any takeaways. Dropped one, but uh, Got to takeaways, you know, and missed a field goal, which is critical. You every point matters, but uh, uh, just really disappointed. Our defense didn't, uh, didn't play well enough. Too many explosive plays in the throw game. And, and uh, um, just got to get some guys back. Obviously, trying to play Taiwan tonight. Today, uh, couldn't go very long. And uh, it's been a big disappointment. And uh, obviously, they just didn't make the trip. So, uh, getting those guys back in a huge way. Bradley and Matt. Coach, your thoughts on what you liked from Donovan McCauley and your thoughts on how Peyton Hendershot played today? Yeah, I thought Peyton was unbelievable. I mean, he just plays so hard, cares so much. I'm so proud of him. Uh, he's turned his life around uh, after a tough situation that uh, really kind of was transformational for him in, in so many ways on and off the field. So I uh, could be proud of Peyton Hendershot and how, how hard he plays, how tough he plays, his leadership, and just making plays as well. He's not just you know saying that he's doing it. And I uh, thought Donovan, you know, he just uh, – Made some good throws, you know. Uh, gave us a chance on a couple deep balls, um, and uh, just uh, Don was a good quarterback. He just needs to play, you know. Everything I've said all along, uh, he's got a real talent, uh, but he's young. He's really, really young. And, and without, you know, being a mid-year guy, no spring football, no, no much training over the summer, other than just what he does here on his own with his, with his teammates. You know, it's just it's hard to come in and play um, in that way in a game. You know, and him not love be the starter. So I just felt like he showed some poise. You know, showed some uh, ability to scramble a little bit, extend the plays with his legs a little bit, find receivers open, um, just uh, made some good throws, you know, made some, uh, some contested throws where he had some pressure in his face and had to put the ball in the right spot. So I mean, he uh, he had a good solid week of practice, so I really expected him to play well and was uh, hoping he would play well, but obviously he, he got to do it in the game. And so uh, that's definitely one huge positive is, is his performance. And, and uh, just improvement on our offense. Just uh, it's a team game, you know. It's all three phases got to come together. Matt from Grissom. On on a, on a Stephen Carr, I guess. To what extent did you guys rely on him? I guess uh, with a freshman quarterback in his first start. Yeah, we challenged him to be able to step up, you know, and, and try and take some pressure off our quarterback and all of our running backs and our offensive line and and uh, the receivers making tough catches, you know, just to kind of make it easier on him, you know. So we challenged the whole offense to. One percent better on every single snap, you know. So I, I thought they did a good job. I really did, and, and uh, I just really uh, got built off of that without question. Uh, but uh, um, you know, to me, it's just uh, you know, I do appreciate our offensive coaches just hanging in there. And you know, it's tough when you got different quarterbacks and and we had this uh, third different guy starting for us, and, and uh, that's uh, that can be challenging without question. So, but uh, um, really proud of them for that. We just you know, just gotta gotta get all three of us coming together at the same time. Matt Griffin in the back. Coach, I know you're a big one game at a time guy, but I guess at the end of the day, when the bowl chances keep dwindling week by week, how hard is it to keep guys motivated, keep them focused when that goal keeps getting more and more distant? Yeah, I mean, that's reality, right? So you just got to be able to still focus one at a time. And uh, um, that's not something that we dwell on. And, and uh, you know, obviously, you break this film down and get ready for the next one. That's what you have to do. And uh, there's no doubt that that's, uh, um, you know, we are where we are. And uh, we're just going to keep, keep battling, keep fighting. Single week and find ways to, to win football games. And so uh, it's going to be it for this week. And then there's no discussion about anything else other than getting our 15 position to, to beat Maryland. And uh, that will be no different this coming week. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that's just uh, that's reality. Zach, and we'll wrap up with Brad. Yeah, it circles back to something we talked about earlier. This defense just, it, it kind of, the inability to create some of those turnovers yeah. you, you feel like you need. Just how, 
I guess how, how much does that kind of damage maybe I don't want to say the overall plan, but when you go into a game like this, maybe saying it's just less about yards than some of those disruptive plays that you're able to break those. Yeah, I think that's really kind of the difference, to be honest with you. I mean, we gave up yards last year, and we gave up drives last year, and people forget that because we just got a lot of takeaways, you know, and then they get they erase a lot of stuff. And when you don't get any, even against this team a year ago, the takeaways were ridiculous. I mean, yeah, they were the close game last year, you know, and they had some of the guys out with COVID, and, and uh, you know, Force a lot of takeaways, a lot of interceptions, and so um, we get eight today. You know, and we need them. Our offense needed that. So for them to do what they did without even the assistance of, uh, of takeaways uh, is more impressive from our offense. But it was very frustrating for our defense and just to be able to, to not get those. And we did drop one, uh, but uh, we got some pressure, but not enough pressure. You know, to me that's just uh, the reality of what we got to be able to, to go back to the drawing board and, and do a better job of. Because to me, that's the pressure is what creates the takeaways. You know, and so. But I think that is the biggest difference between last year and this year. There's a lot of, a lot of similarities in terms of just not getting those, those picks and, and getting your fumbles. But we did have a fumble on one of those long passes that it did bounce right back to Ray Lewis and to the guy that fumbled it. But you know, we got to come up with those. we got to find a way to get those out and, and uh, give our, our offense a chance to have some momentum and play downhill instead of just having to drive 75 to 80 yards every time. Happy last one. Is this a situation with McCauley where you kind of ride him maybe the rest of the way? Well, you know, right now we really truly don't know. The other guys, are, are they are truly week to week, and we'll see. We'll evaluate where they're at. But right now, I mean, to my mind, he's, he's the guy, you know, and I think that uh, he's by far uh, the healthiest and probably gives us the best chance. Uh, the other guys, you know, obviously nursing injuries and trying to get them 100% healthy. And, and even with Jack, that's why we just had him stay home so he could just keep rehabbing, you know. And, Got more out of the belt, got more out of that than just standing there standing on the sideline. So, you know, but, uh, you know, to me, Donovan, um, this is where the good things, you know, and so that's where, you know, the guy, whoever's the healthiest, gives us the best chance to win, we'll have to be our quarterback. So, right. Appreciate you guys. Have an awesome day. Let's do the players outside.